I've got a, a fairly short question. Uh, that is that uh, what you've just said and, and uh, talked about seems to me, relig all religions, uh, you know, Christianity and, and the others as well, is an attempt to explain certain things. It's almost an adjunct of psychology because it's dealing with how the human being will try to make some sense of it. But it doesn't tell us the ultimate reality as to what will actually happen because we don't seem to know how to, do, how to fathom that out. I don't know whether you'd like to make some comment on that. Well, I think I'll let Alistair have first go at that. <laughs> well, I think um, if you look at people like Crystal Park or Ken Pargament, who are leading research psychologists in the States, I mean, I mean they would say this, that empirically there seems to be something about human nature that makes us want to, to find meaning in life. Now, it doesn't make it right or wrong. You know, it, it doesn't validate that quest, or does, nor does it invalidate it but it does make it very human. So I, th I think we need to be aware that this, is, this seems to be a fundamental characteristic of human nature to want to ask these questions. That doesn't necessarily mean that there is meaning to be found. So you, know, you, you might say, well, that, you know, it, it, there's clearly an issue. You might make this up. But it, it doesn't imply that at all. It, it may mean, look, I get hungry from time to time, and that's because <laughs> there's food to be had and I need it. Uh, and maybe there's a correlation here too, that actually meaning is meant to be found because there's something there. So I think that you're asking the question as to whether religion is a kind of extension of psychology. I think the way I'd frame it is, is that I think psychology helps us to see that being human is about asking these deep questions of meaning and looking for answers. But psychology itself is very, very good at helping us see what we do. But it doesn't necessarily mean that because we do this, either we are right or wrong in doing so. It's just that we do this. So for me, um, in many ways, one of the things that religion is doing, but it's not the only thing, is beginning to develop a system of meaning. By meaning, I think mean things like um, what I understand my purpose to be, what I understand the purpose of life to be, what is good, what is not good, and so on. And all of us, I think, you know, think about these questions, but we need some sort of system, some sort of intellectual framework to be able to do those things. And most, like, most philosophers of religion would say that, that, that religion as a phenomenon, one of its elements is to deal with questions of meaning. Now, of course, I mean, uh, the New Atheism talks about questions of meaning as well, so it's not an exclusively religious issue, but it's a characteristically religious issue because that's, this, is, this seems to be something very, very fundamental about human nature and it's something that religions really do engage. 